Hi everyone, this is Yana, and in this video I'd like to share my favorite way to create simple holy ornaments with a bit of texture using clay. I am by no means an expert when it comes to polymer clay. I only work with this product occasionally and I only know the basics, so I probably will not have the answers to your questions regarding clay. But if you're a beginner like me, hopefully this video will inspire you to go ahead and play with clay and stretch your tools beyond what you might have thought possible. I have already created two ornaments using white clay. One of them is double-sided. There is texture or embossing on both sides. And the other one is single-sided with texture being only on the front. The other side is smooth, or at least it was supposed to be smooth. To create our ornament, we will need polymer clay. I have an Owen baked clay here, and this pack is enough to make two or maybe three ornaments, depending how thick you want them to be. There is another type of clay, an air dry clay. I know Martha Stewart Crafts has clay like that. You don't need an oven for it, it dries on its own. The clay that I'm using today needs to be baked for about 30 minutes in an oven. Other than clay, we're going to need a cookie cutter. I have one from Walmart shaped as a snowflake. Now, another product that we're going to need to create texture on the ornament, the one that you see here, this nice snowflake texture or snowflake embossing, is an embossing folder. I'm going to be using my Spellbinders embossing folders today. For the white ornament, I use the Winter Wonder folder, but for the ornament I plan to make in my video, I want to use the Tweets and Twigs folder. Now, these folders are double-sided. There's one design on one side and another design on the other side. So basically, this is a two-in-one product. Now, these are your regular embossing folders, the ones that you would normally use to emboss cardstock. This is not a special folder of any kind, just a regular embossing folder from Spellbinders. Now, Spellbinders also has these 3D embossing folders with some fantastic designs. You can use these too. They will give you a very realistic, like a molded type look. Now, to create our ornament, we're also going to need a rolling pin and a little bit of sunflower oil and some parchment paper. So let's get to work. I grabbed about a half a pack of my clay and I rolled it into a ball in my hands. It took me about five minutes to do so. I had to warm the clay up a bit in my hands and then I just kept rolling and rolling and, until I had a ball like this. Now I can go ahead and use my rolling pin and flatten this into a nice circle. I'm doing this on my craft mat and clay doesn't seem to stick to it. You can also roll your clay on parchment paper. If you find that clay starts to stick, just use a little bit of sunflower oil or any other lubricant to prevent it from sticking to your work surface. So I kept rolling until I had a circle that was slightly larger than the diameter of my cookie cutter. At this point, my clay is rolled pretty thin, but this is how I want it to be. If you want yours thicker, you'll have to use more clay when you start working on your ball. So it all depends on the final result that you're looking for. And by the way, if you rolled it up and found that it's too thin, you can always add more clay and roll it out again. Now, the next step is very important. Before I can put clay into my embossing folder and before I can add texture or embossing, I need to make sure that my embossing folder had, has oil on it. You absolutely need to add sunflower oil or some other lubricant to your folder. This is going to prevent clay from sticking to the folder once you press it down. If you skip this step and press your clay into the folder without any oil, you will not be able to take your clay off the folder. It's just going to stick and stay there. So make sure to add some oil, some sunflower oil or some other lubricant. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Just make sure the surface of your embossing folder looks oily and greasy. I know it, it sounds yucky, but this is the way to do it. And you won't see any oil on your finished project. Now, another important thing, if you want to make a double-sided ornament, meaning if you want to have embossing on both sides, you need to add oil to both flaps of your folder. If you only want a single-sided ornament, add oil to just one side. Also make sure you do not have any dirt or animal fur in your folder because once you press your clay down, it's going to get embedded and will be almost impossible to get out. After you've added oil to the embossing folder, you can go ahead and pick your clay up and place it in the folder. Close the folder and press down. Do not put this in your embossing machine or it will ruin the whole thing. 
The pressure in your machine is too high, so it's just going to spread all of that clay all over the place. So remember, no machine, just press down with your hands. If you think you're not pressing hard enough, which you really don't need to, just ask your hubby to help. But you really don't need to apply a whole lot of pressure to this, just a little bit. And now look at that beautiful result. Look at that beautiful embossing or that beautiful texture. Isn't that cool? And just like that, you were able to use your embossing folder with something other than paper. How cool is that, right? Now, because I had oil on the other flap of my embossing folder, I was able to easily open it without damaging my ornament or my clay. So make sure to add that oil to your folder. Now, I usually pick this up with my fingers, but I just remembered that I had this large palette knife from Teresa Collins, so I'm going to use it to pick my embossed clay up and put it on my work surface. Now, don't worry about your embossing folder. There's still some oil left there, but you can easily clean it up with some dish soap and some warm water. Now that I have my clay embossed, I can go ahead and cut it using my cookie cutter. Before I do that, I just want to take a quick look and decide which side I want to be on the front and which side I want to be on the back. The back side is going to get smushed a bit from the pressure from the cookie cutter, but you will still be able to see that embossed detail. After you've picked the side, just place your cookie cutter on top and press down to cut. It's not going to be as easy as cutting cookie dough, as clay is much thicker, so you'll probably need to press down a lot harder to get it cut. I also like to use my craft knife and just scrape any extra clay from sides to make sure I cut all the way down. Finally, while your clay is still sitting in the cookie cutter, grab a straw and just punch a hole for a thread. Just insert the straw where you want the hole to be cut in the clay and lift it up. The straw is going to act as a hole punch in this case and will create an opening to thread some ribbon through. Make sure to do this before you bake your ornament because once it has been baked, you won't be able to change its shape or punch anything. Now I can go ahead and pick my ornament up and carefully remove it from a cookie cutter. At this point, you can also fix these rough edges with your fingers. Just dip your finger in some oil and simply smooth the clay. Or you can bake it like this and then just sand these edges with some sandpaper. Next, place your ornament onto parchment paper and bake according to the clay instructions on the clay packaging. Once your ornament has been baked, add some string or dress it up a little if you like. You can paint it, you can add some shimmer, you can do some stamping, the sky is the limit here. So here are all four ornaments that I did using my embossing folders from Spellbinders. I have a snowflake pattern, a wood grain pattern, and a twig pattern. Be sure to head out to my blog to see other ornaments that I did last year. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find the list of supplies to create this ornament in the video description and also in my blog. If you're looking for more videos using products from Spellbinders, be sure to check out the link you see on the screen. Please click the thumbs up button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks! And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have new videos coming out every week. Thanks and bye!